Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Danny. Um, I'm back making videos. I just couldn't think of any, and I don't know why I'm doing kind of like. Never mind. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my fishing poles. Tyler already did that. Go check him out. His name is Kner10. It's easy to find. I might put it down in the description if you guys want it. But here we go. All right, so let's start off with my one of my good rods. This is my beach shark rod. Um, it's a Shakespeare rod and it's 66 feet high and it's in the medium part. It's made in the USA. So, it's very nice. Um, I'm pretty sure this could hold probably 50 pound test somewhere around there. But I don't really use it that much. So, there we go for that one. Now, my next one I'm going to show you is another rod, of course. This one is my little uh, little one. As you can tell, it is broken up here because a stupid fish took it. So, it's broken right there. It's pretty small. Pretty light. It almost kind of heavy. Um, what kind of fish pot is this one? This one is a Shimano, Shimano, I'm guessing. It's STS66MH2. I'm guessing that's the meter. Um, originally, it was uh, it's it was 16. It's six feet by six, so it's, it's pretty good <laughs> for a little rod. <laughs> um, oh, cool! This is actually pretty cool. It says the line it holds is eight through seventeen pounds, so. This will not hold a 50 pound test line, so don't try it. <laughs> probably end up like mine. The action for this is fast, so that's probably a good thing. Um, the power is medium. Oh, so then that, the R1 was medium too, so for this rod, for the R rod, I'll probably rate it probably around 9, 10 being the best. And this one, for ponds, like freshwater, I'll probably say this, an 8. For beaches, <laughs> no way. Alright, my next one. This is the best of the best. Um, this is my reel. It's a pen reel. As you can t see, it's pen. All you really have to do, you press this button done, and then you cast it. If you do not cast it well, it will literally give you the biggest, baddest crossness ever. So, this is my shark reel. I go fishing with this reel all the time. This is my, uh, I, oh crap. Um, for the line, it's really strong line. It's 55 pound test. Oh, um, my hook. I use a, a J hook. And I have weights, but I'm playing on for my birthday I'm gonna buy myself some a new line because as you can tell I'll have enough a lot of line on it and I'm gonna put enough on it so if I get shark I'll catch it. If not if I use catch shark with this I could probably yes maybe but i will be have to be very careful. So and this is a what kind of line I mean what kind of pole is this? This is a captive pin reel. I mean, this, yeah, this is a pin rod right here, and the length is 17, uh, 7 feet, so that's pretty good for beach. Um, it holds 17 pound test line, but I don't care. It's going to hold my 30 pound test, and it has final. <laughs> Alright, uh, one more. This is totally broken. You're, there's no way in it. Oh. Uh, you cannot use this at all. Um, I know it looks dirty because I found it in my canal. I call this my tight my tight tannic um, rod because I found it and it's all creepy looking. No, if this rod this reel was working, I would love it a lot. But I found this in the canal and yeah, it's broken because of me. Because and I thought it was a stingray at first. But yeah, pretty nice. Um, this rod is a Shakespeare rod. 
and it the model is a LX series. It's not very good. It's the action is medium. The line oh my god, it's terrible. The line test for this rod is twelve. The high is twelve pounds. <laughs> That's terrible. Do not get that guy. Um so yeah. And this is made in Korea. It's pretty good. Um so yeah. I have in counting I sorry for my floor. <laughs> in counting I have four rods and I have three that work. So yeah. Um comment rate subscribe and I'll tell you guys um you guys want me to show you some stuff more like video games and stuff or you want me to do a reaction video just tell me down below you know where to find me on my channel message me any questions and i'll get back to you guys and later